good evening, everybody. Oxford Community Television, Oxford good Basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Gymnasium for tonight's Stand Up for Oxford Night across the MHSAA. Tonight's Open Activities Association varsity basketball game between the Bears of Berkeley High School in their hometown, Oxford Wildcats. This time, the starting lineups for both teams. First, for the Visiting Bears, number two, a junior, Jacob Shereen. Number three, a senior, Zach Bigliotti. Yeah! <laughs> number ten, a senior, Barry Maurice. Number eleven, a senior, Jack Quallen. Number 24, a junior, Hunter Robinson. The Bears are coached by Joe Sermo. And now, the hometown Oxford Wildcats. Number one, a junior, Rosansky. Number three, a senior, Matt Brown. Way to go. Good job. Lighting it up here at the Oxford Stadium tonight, the Ian Smith Gymnasium. Once again, we want to thank the Berkeley Bears for uh, supporting Oxford Strong with the t-shirts as well. Big night of basketball here. Freshman walked away with a win, 48 to 45. Your junior varsity team not able to capitalize. The trifecta will be on the varsity Wildcats here. Yep, looking forward to a good game. This is the first uh, varsity boys game I've been to this year, so I'm looking forward to it. I've not been in the gym where they start doing all this dancing stuff, Becky. We're going to have to dance or something. <laughs> I got to tell you, though, gym is, like, nearly full tonight. It's, a great, it's great to see that. Students are down at the far end, and they are excited. That will play an important part of the game tonight. Again, a very strong junior varsity team. We met Mr. Espin uh, uh, earlier. He's uh, he's filming as well. Here we go. It's yours, mine, together. We're going to take you all the way through the tip-off to the conclusion. The Oxford Wildcat basketball from the Ian Smith Gymnasium. 
Bryce Essman on the uh, tip. He actually gets it for Oxford. Now, uh, his dad told me he wears 42 on his headband for Tate Muir. Oh, that's awesome. Cats to get something offensively. They drop one down into the game. Logan Rosensky. I like that start. Getting it going right off the bat. Your Bears are inside trying to get one going. They drop one. No, no good on the attempt. Rebounded by Essman. Who stands, according to his dad, 6'8". They list him at 6'7". But he does look like 6'8 from up here, Becky. Yeah, he's a tall guy. Oh! Heavy drive on the inside there, and... Uh, Mike, was that an offensive charge or what? Well, we'll find. Are you asking me or the ref? <laughs> I'm asking you. I know. I think so. Yes, but okay. Because it was a little bit of a shoulder lower. But evidently, the ref thought differently. And he did, and that's okay. Now we didn't get the record of Berkeley. Maybe that was the bad thing we did with JV. We don't care what they did. All we care about is tonight. Cats got it offensively. Number one passing it off to number 14. Essman in the corner, 6'8 Essman, and he drops it in for two. Beautiful. Four to nothing. The Cats are on top of this one right now. 6.43 and a full pack gymnasium tonight. Shot for three down and no good at rebounded by Oxford. Essman gets that one. When you can look that tall from up here, Becky, you know he's got to be pretty darn tall. Oh, my tall. goodness, I know. Oxford Cap trying to capitalize on that. They get stopped up there by the Bears. Bears on a good pass and a run. He's going in for two, and he drops it in, number 10. That would be Ben Maurice. They go on the board, four to two. Wildcats on top by two. Oh, we do have a little bit of help down there. The announcer does the, announce, uh, the scores as well. <laughs> there we go. 14 up for two, you know, no good on the attempt. We rebounded by the Bears. Pass off for three, number 10. He shoots it in for three. <laughs> Lucas Bottin. Bottin. That was a quick five from the Bears. Five to four right now. The Cats are led it in the beginning part of the game. Now they don't want to get themselves in trouble like Junior Varsity did a bit earlier. Essman inside, he tries to get it up and in and no good on the attempt, but that'll uh, Balls on number 10. put him on the line, Essman. That was a nice pass line, in. Two, Bryce Essman Bryce will seven. shoot two and number 10 on the foul, that would be Ben Maurice. 522 here in the first. And he knocks that one down. Good job. Five of five right now. A tie game. Knocks that one. He puts it up. By, they're up by one. Six to five. Oxford getting a defensive, uh, the, it looks like they're in a zone there, Beck, I guess. Yeah, a little bit of a zone, yep. Like a 1 2 2. Or a it's working. Knocks uh, no good on the attempt. Oh. Cats get it back. Essman picked up on the rebound. Nice job. And he'll get the outbound the ball as well. Ball number three, Zach Bigliotti, his first 15 second Wildcats ball out of bounds. Zach Bigliotti on the foul for the Bears. Cats driving in, pass it off to Essman. Essman under the hoop, he dropped it in. Nice. Eight to five, and I think his dad might be correct. I, I think so. I guess we broadcasted a game a few years ago, and I, I had called uh, Essman saying that kid's gonna be good, and here we are now.
408, 8 to 5. The Cats lead it by three. Fouls on number four. Matt Champagne. That's two already on our point guard, so he's going to have a seat. In the game, number 34, David Rollins, and number five, Tamir Runnington, running Tevich. Traveling by the Bears, number five, Tamir Runikevich. Runikevich, I would think. SR number 14 for the three, no good on the hit attempt. And it will go out of bounds, and the Bears will pick up on it. Mitchell Viviano. I remember that name from last week with uh, Viviano for some reason. Bears got it. Eight to five, Cats are leading it. No good and rebounded and it will go Oxford's way. Ball's on number two, Jacob Sharif, his first, team's third. Wildcats ball out of bounds. Jacob Sheriff. Sheriff. On the foul, Cats will get the ball on the outbound. Number one brings it in, Logan Rosansky. Rosansky, uh, number oh. uh, stole by the Bears and inside capitalizing on it with two. Also called on the foul, that'll be eight to seven. That'll send him to the front line with that one. Number two gets the basket and he will go to the line. That is Jacob Sheriff. Into the game for the Bears, number 12, Ian Smith. Who the crowd is loud tonight. And evidently the student section happy they did that. Yeah. <laughs> I should say I should say though they, they they did wear Oxford strong shirts, so maybe the student section could be a little more liberal. <laughs> yeah. Shot up, didn't fall. Eight to seven right now. The Cats still lead it by a new one. And it will go out of bounds. Wildcats ball out of bounds. Wildcats ball gonna be inbounded by Logan Rosansky. Full court press. Ball's on number 10, Ben Maurice. It's his second. A lot of fouls going on already this early in the game. Right. Now, Be now Becky, the thing about it is Berkeley, number 12, is actually Ian Smith, and he plays for Berkeley. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I'd be, I'm very interested to find that out. Yeah, to see if it's a relation or not. It's right here, down here. Cats get the rebound and they'll throw it down to S. Oh no, that's number 14. 14 in for two. Oh, called for traveling on that. Mitchell Viviano would have had it, but he got called for walking. Eight to seven. Uh oh. Oh, crowd didn't like it. Crowd didn't like it. Bears setting up their offense. 2.15 in the first period of action here. Smith on the shot, he knocks it down. Ian Back Smith, to nine to eight, he'll put him ahead. The first uh, time in the uh, Bears lead it by one. Essman passes it off to number two Ox for Oxford. Benjamin Cruz. Essman sets a great pick out there. 14 for the three. He still doesn't sink on that one. 144. Cats came out strong, but now something's uh, maybe transfer. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Oh, double the ball. That'll be a turnover on number 12, Ian Smith from the oh, Bears.
In the game for the Wildcats, number 11, Dylan Stone. Substitution, Dylan Stone coming in, uh, substituting for Mitchell Viviano. Alex Brown with the ball, inbounded by number one, Logan Rosensky. Esmond to the corner, he's got it, and he's gonna oh. get a double dribble on that. Double dribble, Bears ball. He was like, I don't think that happened. Huh? <laughs> That's two in a row, neither guy thought they did that, and yeah, you know. A little more, more of an animated crowd tonight than it was at the JV. Yeah, there's a lot of kids here tonight. It's good to see. Fouls on number two, Ben Cruz. Cruz getting the foul on that one, and it uh, will be an outbound foul. Nine to eight, though. They are down by one, the Wildcats. Smith inbounds the ball. Oh, and downtown, he sends it away. Number five, Tamir Ruinkevich. That puts him at 12, eight to 12 right now. Esmond at the top of the key. Shot up, no good, and rebounded by the Bears. In a quarter that looks like it might be Bears, uh, the Bears quarter right now. It does look that way. Playing for the one and one on there. The coach giving him an indication to hold up. 21 ticks on the clock. They're shooting it up and they'll call for it. He got it. Coach is like, play for the one and one and he's going to get it. Number two at the line. Second. Zach Bigalioti. Shooting two. Jacob Sharif. Oh, no, Jacob Sharif. There we go. Logan Rosansky on the Wildcat foul, and they do capitalize on that one, 13 of eight. In the game for the Wildcats, seven of 10, lose 14. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> capitalized on that one, 14 to eight. And we got about 10 seconds left on the clock here. Cats drive in for two, and they'll get called on the foul. It should send him to the line. Number 22 on the foul. Luke Winter will send number three, Alex Brown, to the line. Good deal. Hopefully capitalize on these two, cut that lead down just a little bit. Coming up, Becky's going to tell you what this is all about tonight. A big uh, statewide thing going on. I definitely will. Alec Brown on that one. He capitalizes. We're in 14 to 9. They're down by a few. Not good. They bounce it off the back. Bears get the ball. Long shot and no good on Ooh. that. And they'll end the first period of play. Uh, the Bears on top, 14 to nine. Cats came out strong, but did they hold on to it? Not so much. Not so much, not so much. What's going on statewide, Becky? So to, tonight was the stand up for Oxford night all across the state of Michigan for the Oxford Wildcats. Um, this was uh, the, the something that a gentleman named Brian Gordon, who is the athletic director at Royal Oak High School came up with. Um, after the tragedy happened in November. And uh, he asked everyone to purchase these Oxford Strong shirts that you see a lot of tonight. And we, um, we thank him for that, first of all. But he, at first he thought there was only gonna be just a few schools and it became uh, over 100 schools tonight wow, that are participating. Good stuff. Absolutely. And overall, he said we sold, he sold 20,000 t-shirts to a tune of $225,000 raised for the Oxford people. And you look down here at the Bears, like I say, I keep mentioning it, but it's, you know, we appreciate it. The Bears wearing the strong shirts as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's been just awesome throughout the last two months is everywhere I go, the kids are supporting our kids. 
pretty heavy crowd tonight. A very, a very busy student section. Boys and will play twice next week. Boys will be at home Thursday against Seahawk. Right here in the gym. And the girls will be at 5.30. The boys will be at 7. And then we travel downtown Detroit to the LCA. Play on Friday for a matinee game against Stony Creek. Tip up. The LCA is scheduled for 145. Little Caesars Arena, that is. Tickets can be purchased through GoVan.com. We should go to the LCA game. What do you think? Ooh, that would be fun. I have Dan, to see. Can you, can you get Terry to let us go? What what day is that? <laughs> In a few weeks, I guess. Cool. I know we covered hockey out at the big house one time. Neat. Long shot for three. Nice, nice rebound. Esmond on the rebound. 14 to 9, 744. Oh, that's good work. Falls on number 32. Usman's working hard underneath. Oh, yeah, for sure. 738, 14 to 9. Cats are down. Long pass here to Oxford and oh, it's st almost stolen. It's going to be a foul. Falls on number 2. Jacob Sharif. Sharif, that should be a second foul. To the line, shooting 1 and 1. One and one on the shot, and the Cats do need it. Number four, Jake Champagne. And he knocks that one down. He'll get another chance at it. And the game prepares number 12 against Smith. And he gets the second as well. He hit Smith on the uh, gets uh, in, gets on, on the inbound back over to Smith. Bear strong inside. Smith up for two. No good. He passes it off, and we get two from 32. Sixteen to eleven right now. The Cats are down by five. Esmond trying to get a pass out to the tip. Esmond at the tip of the top of the key. Shoots for two. No good. Six fifty one, sixteen to eleven. Oh and down for another two, that would be Shenackle. Yeah, a little miscue on the defense there, and that led to an easy two for the Bears. 6.41 right now, and it looks like it's uh, becoming the Bears' uh, offensive charge right now. Yep. 18 to 11. Good timeout by coach, settle the guys down, get them refocused. Mm -hmm. Oh, great game tonight so far. It's tough defense on both sides. Both of them are moving the ball well. They did announce the schedule, I guess, next Thursday. I think the ladies and the gentlemen are going to be in tow here tonight on Thursday night. So I guess we'll, we'll probably be back here Thursday. We got to get a call from uh, uh, Dan Zweiss. He all get a hold of us. <laughs> Sounds good. Back to live action, as they would say. Cats get it on the inbound pass off number three and off to 14 for the Wildcats. Mitchell Viviano. Cats are gonna try to get some offense going here. Drives inside and passes it off. We're gonna get a foul. Ball is on number 12. He is in. He's first. 18 to the line, shooting 101. Take champagne. Miss on that. 18 to 11. It's 6.18 left in this uh, first half of ball here for the Varsity Wildcats. Smith up for two, no good. He did not capitalize on that one. He gets stuffed up. 
20, 32, not happy in uh, with that Ball situation. 32, Asia Schnackel, his second. To line, shooting one to one, Jay Champagne. Champagne on the line again. Got to get these free throws down. Yep, that's why they're called free throws. That's right. Knocks that one down, capitalizes on it, 18 to 12. In, in the game for the Bears, number 24, Hunter Robertson. And he knocks that one down as well. 18 to 13, five point game. Off to Smith, Smith double teamed right now. Shoves inside number five, he's got it for a three and he knocks it Ooh. down. Three point pass by the Kamir Runikevich has a three pointer, 21-13. Top of the key, number 14 for three. He it doesn't go in. In and out, in and out. 21 13, 532 in the, the half here. Up for two or three. That's a three from downtown. Three point pass by Tamir. 24 to 13, and it's starting to slowly uh, get away here. Yes, it is. 516 and to go in this second period. Student section is quiet now. Yeah, that happens quick. <laughs> they give it to Essman, and Essman will... In the game the Bears, number two. It was knocked out of bounds by the Bears. Yeah. Espen gets the ball in the inbound and he goes up for two, no good. Nice. Espen now the rebound, he uh, fast break out with number 14, or four. Gets it taken back, number five. And they're looking to pass it off here for a shot, no good, up for two. And it does not go in, Castle gets a rebound. Number three, all the way downtown, he's rocking and rolling, and there he is in for two. Hey, hey, nice drive, nice drive. Alex Brown, Alec Brown. Took it all the way from the basket all the way down to home. Coast to coast. Student section alive again down there. Inside shot, no good, and rebounded by the Wildcats. Alec guard uh, number four, Jake Champagne. Champagne off to Esmond. Esmond up for two. Oh. Hmm. Esmond will get called. Calls on number 23, Bryce Esmond. He must have hooked him when he tried to go around him. That's all I can figure on that one. In the game for the Wildcats, number 11. Going start number 13, John Ashudo. Twenty-four, fifteen. The Cats need to get something going here. They need to stop them and get something going. Number five. Bears ball. Falls at number fourteen. Oh. Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I thought that was going the other way. I think the players are a bit confused. What's going on? Yeah. So it's well, going to be one and one. That's Tamir Runikevich is on the line. On a foul by Mitchell Viviano. Ooh, crowd's really loud now. Great job. Coach Laidlaw, very animated right now. Hey, hey, hey. 
It's going to be a foul. Falls on with 13. John Asciutto, his first. The line shooting one and one. Jacob Sharif into the game. John Asciutto on the foul. Oh, no, no, it was number 14, he said. Mitch, was it Mitchell Livia? No, no, it is 13. Yep. John Asciutto. He's a very good football player as well. Oh, excellent. I'd love to see two sport players. Your daughter played volleyball and basketball, right? Uh, basketball and softball. Not even close with the volleyball, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, that's why you know all about baseball. And uh, that's right, yep. Okay. I uh, wanted her to play volleyball, too. I oh. wanted her to do three, but it's probably that's good a, she did That was a little much. I know, right? And go to school. And yeah. <laughs> and number two on in with the basket for the Bears, Jacob and Sharif. The Bears, number 12, Ian Smith. Into the game for the Bears also, number 34, David Rollins. All right, we got to get something moving here. Down by 11. Estimate for it goes up and will be called on the foul. Who will get the foul on that one? Fouls on number five. Number five, Tamir Runikevich will send Espen to the line. And he capitalizes on that. Ten, ten point game right now. And he's down for the other one and that makes it a nine point game, 26-17. 3.15 before they hit the locker room. Long shot for three downtown, and it does not go in. Wildcats ball out of bounds in the game. Number 12, Ian Smith for the Wildcats. Number four, Jake Champagne. Pass inside to Esmond. Esmond's got it back out to the top. And they go for three from downtown, and it bounces and new good. New good. Bears ball up now to the game number two, Jacob Sharif. Sharif checking back into the game, 245. And we go to the locker room. Fast games tonight. Yeah, they really are. I was thinking exactly the same. It's just. Boom, 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 back and forth, you know? Yep. To the testament of both teams. Yes. Up for two, no good, and rebounded by the Wildcats, but out of bounds. Bears ball out of bounds. Two seventeen. Oh. here we got. Gats gets the ball back. Great job. Logan Rosensky gets it back. He takes it all the way home. Tries for two, no good. Number two gonna be called Sharif on the foul. Fouls on number 11, Jack Coleman. Oh, Coleman Here's gets the foul. To line shooting well, number two had his hand up like he thought he couldn't believe Rosansky. he didn't do it, so I guess he didn't do it. I guess he didn't. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it. Yeah, he wasn't even ready or even, I don't even think Rosansky he did. Logan Rosensky on the shot. <laughs> And he bounces it. In the game number two, Ben Cruz. Cruz rolls in. Uh, Going to give a bit of a break for, not sure who came out, but Rosensky going to try to get the second one of two. In the game for the Bears, number 10, Ben Maurice. And mm. no good on that. Misses them both. That's not a good sign. 26 to 17. We're at two uh, two minutes and they go to the locker room. Oh, timeout. Timeout called by Bulls the Bears. Bears.
Again, I wish you were here with us tonight to see this crowd. It's pretty amazing to see this gym filled tonight. Uh, it's just, it's, it's been a long time coming. The last, the last few weeks and been waiting to get back here in the gym. And the house announcer announcing exactly what Becky's been announcing. Together we can. Yeah, that's awesome. It's great to see the kids out here to, to get back to some t type of normalcy, you know, after all that's been going on. Obviously. I mean, it's good to see the parents on the other side as well and a full stadium. Beck, have you ever seen this side out? I've never seen this side go out. No, not for any of the basketball games I've ever been to. I mean, I'm pointing to this. Uh, there's a bunch of seats in front of us. <laughs> and, I mean, it's just we're on the side where the scores table is. I was wondering if we ever had a fold gym like that. No. Back I to know. live action here, uh, Buck 56. Out for three, and it does not sink. He's tried that shot like three times and missed. Yep. Which I don't mind if he misses. That's right. Rosanski's got the ball, it gives it off to number three, Alec Brown. Inside to Esman. Esman still got it. He passes it off and tries to see what we can get offensively here. Oh, steal by number five. That's gonna be a foul. And it was a put back in, and it got put in. 20, it should be a basket actually. Follows on number 14, Mitch Gugliano. Second foul for him. Yeah. In the game, number 12. Those free throws that we're missing, they're making theirs, and that could definitely be the difference in this game as we get closer to the end. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of what happened at the JV game as well. Yep. And it's starting to get a, to be a runaway, actually, 28-17. 28-17 right now, we, they go in the locker room, and uh, I tell you, uh, a full house here. Looking to see maybe a getting an Oxford win. We saw one earlier tonight with the freshman. Esmond, top of the key. Drives inside, number three, shoots up, no good. And knocked out of bounds. That's gonna be another foul on Viviano, I'm afraid. Let's see what they say. This will be his third. Third foul yeah. on Viviano. Viviano's got three. He's gonna come on out. In the game, number 11, Dylan Stone. Stone, when he checks in for Viviano, Viviano's gonna sit it out for a minute or two. Oh. Well, are we keeping him in or what? Ref's going to make him wait till the shot's taken. No good on that one. Now into the game, number 11, Stone. Line shooting at second race. The student section down there being very animated. And Stone gets away with one of them, 29 to 17. <laughs> And it ain't to the chagrin of the student section. Yeah, exactly. There's one guy down there, he's doing about everything. <laughs> Ian Smith, top of the key, 47 ticks. They go to the locker room, 29 to 17. And I guess Mr. Laidlaw is going to have to tell him to score. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Downtown that, for three. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. 32 to 17. I'm sure Coach will have something to say at halftime. Drive inside for two, drop it up, and no good. Not capitalizing on it, but they get their own rebound. Cats in there for three. Still no good, a bouncer. Just Eight kicks off. left, and we go to the locker room. Last shot uh, gets tipped away by Esman. Point of a sack, seven. Bears ball out of bounds. 
We'll go to halftime here in just a moment. In the game number 10, Ben Maurice. Not even a second on the clock. No good, they go to the locker room at 32 to 17. Berkeley Bears, Oxford Wildcats, they'll talk it out. Uh, Mr. Laidlaw's gonna have to talk to them about maybe capitalizing on a lot of the shots. Is that right, Beck? I agree with you. They gotta come out a little bit stronger. Actually, they came out strong right at the beginning of the game and then they just kind of stalled. So they're gonna have to find that fire that they had in the first few minutes of the game. Come and find, uh, find out what happens in the next 16 minutes of basketball. You're watching Oxford Community College and Oxford Basketball from the Ian Smith Gymnasium. We're back in a moment. Boys, women, will be in the Oxford Mandatorium pool this Thursday. What if we didn't have local TV and radio? Where would I go for local sports, local politics, a mayor, city council, stuff that affects me every day? How about health? Who's covering things that endanger my family? I need to know now, as it happens, from sources I trust, people in my community. No agenda, no bias like you find on cable and social media, just facts. For news I can trust, I stay local. Support your local station. Text TV to 52886 today. And welcome back, everybody. Oxford, uh, Ian Smith Gymnasium, great to have you with us. Kind of weird, uh, not weird, different, that Berkeley has an Ian Smith. We were trying to find out if you might have been related. No information there. Yeah. But they do have an Ian Smith on their basketball team, number 12. Uh, Berkeley Bears leading at 32-17. to 17. Beck, I guess all you and I both need to say is offense, offense, and maybe more offense. Yes, we need a little scoring going on here tonight in the second half. Hopefully the, the crowd can pump our guys up, get them going. And the student section up on their feet. They have been here uh, doing what they got to do, but uh, the offense has got to do what they got to do as well. Full stadium tonight. This, this is fun tonight. This is what high school sports should be. Exactly, and it's good to be back here in the building. Um, again, you've announced it a few times tonight. The uh, house announcer announced it. A statewide campaign, Oxford Strong. You can purchase a shirt. And they've uh, raised a lot of money already. Yeah, $225,000. Again, uh, I'm mentioning, we talked to uh, Mr. Espen's uh, uh, dad, or, uh, his dad earlier, and he says he supports number 42 on the headband. Yeah, that's awesome. And we'll be back to it here, and then here we go. The ball on about to start the second half. And the Cats get it to start it off, and here's their chance to capitalize. Eight minutes, uh, well, we got 16 minutes of ball to go. Trying to get something going offensively here. Pass inside, he goes up for two. And it goes in, and he'll get called, and he'll get to go to the line, I believe, number four. Jake Champagne. That's the way to come out of the locker room. Oh, it's on number three. Zach Vigliotti. Zach Vigliotti is the one that scored or uh, had the foul for the Bears. And he doesn't capitalize on the shot, but we do get the rebound, and it will be jump. Jump ball. Bears ball out of bounds. Bears are good to take it out underneath. 32 to 19. Looks like we're going to put a little full court pressure there. Esmond's going to get called with the foul on that, I believe. This might be Esmond's second, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fouls on number 23, Bryce Esmond, his second. Second foul for Bryce. Two, two, number 10, Ben Maurice. Now again, in the in the roster, they list him as 6'7". Bryce's dad said he's 6'8". Yeah, he's a tall guy, that is for sure. You know how they know he's 6'8"? Because he has that, when you lean up against the door, you know, you, you, you uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that well. homie's 6'8". Anyways, I'm kidding. <laughs> Back to it, live action. esmond has got it. He's halfway down. He's uh, going to try to pass it off, get something going offensively. Cats got to drive it inside and get some scores. Yeah, there he goes. Esmond up for there two, and he knocks it down. There we go. Six, seven and a half, six, eight. Here he goes, Esmond. Seven, twelve left in the third. Oh. 
Logan Rosansky, number, ooh, I believe it's number one, is going to get called on that. Calls on number four, Jake oh. Champagne. Oh, wow, Jake Champagne. Third. That's his third. Woo. Rosansky hits That's the paint. A foul. Scrapping out there now. Falls on number 10, Ben Maurice. Ben Marisa, third foul. He'll get yanked by the coach for the Bears. Wildcats ball out of bounds. Rosansky went down hard on the paint. Bad pass, and uh, the Bears capitalize. They go down for two. 36 to 21. Nice. Essman inside, he goes up for two and he misses on the first attempt. But he'll get to, uh, I believe, go to the line. Yep. Falls on number five. Tamir Runakevich is second to the line, shooting two. Tamir Runakevich in second foul. Capitalized by Essman. He's a nice free throw stroke. It's, it's oh, yeah, no doubt. And uh, like I said, he even is scores usually on the outside as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, except for that one. Except for I jinxed him on that one. But he did get one. 36-22. Oh. From downtown, and it does not go. Oh, nice rebound. Cass gets the rebound, and they can hold on to it. He needs some help up here up front. Pass off number one, Rosensky. He's going to go inside for two. And he, uh, not so much, but he gets rebounded by Espen. Espen gets the two nice and the put, rebound. Nice put back. Good job, Espen. He's doing a great job tonight out there underneath the, underneath the board. Yes, he is. His first. Bears ball out of bounds. Berkeley takes it out of bounds here. 6.02 in the third. Up for three. Air ball. to air ball and it goes underneath the hoop. Oxford needed that. Yeah, we did. I, I would shut the inside down and let them play on the outside and shoot the threes all day. Yeah. I mean, it seems like they, if they shut the inside down, you're going to be okay. Yeah, I think so too. But Oxford really doesn't need to be playing stall ball now either. No, they need to get at it, get to work. It's going to be a foul on five. Number five, and that's going to be, uh, five. that should be his third. Yep. Tamir's probably going to get pulled. I guess they're going to keep him outside, out there, but he's on, it's his third foul. Into the game, number 22, Luke Winter. They yeah. do pull him out. Back to it, live action here. Cats got it on their end. Up for two, and they sink it. 26, we got a 10 point ball game. Alex Brown. We gotta get our defense rolling here. Downtown shot, and it doesn't go in. Like I said, shoot all those you want, that's fine. Yep, we'll take those misses. Cats driving it down uh, to Essman for three, and he doesn't sink that one. Oh, nice Rebound board. Rebound by Oxford. We keep it alive, and number 11's got it. He goes down an open ball. Yep. Number, I believe it's going to be a foul. Number 22. Three, or 22. Also number 22, Luke Winter, his second. In the game, number 13 for the Wildcats, John Asciutto. Bill and Stone gonna sit down for a minute here. John Shuto in. 26, 10 point game here. Inside, he gives it to Essman for two. Nice. Es let him do all those shots he wants to. Essman's good there. Out the basket, the foul is number 34. And Essman, you said, has been doing fairly well. I mean, we, we jinxed him on the one, but uh, he's been doing pretty well though, right? Yes, absolutely. He's, he's got a nice little free throw shot. 
don't know why the actors, why the students are doing that for. That that thing that little hand wave that's just they're quiet trying to get him to make a basket. Trying for three is uh, oh. no good. Essman goes for the rebound. He doesn't get it, but Oxford gets their own rebound back for two. And no good. We still get it back for two. <laughs> Student section's having a great time down there under the basket. Ball is at number three. Zach Bigley, I, the line, C, one, one. What was that? Well, the foul was on the Bears, and we are in the bonus. So we have one and one shot here. 36 to 28. We need both. One. Okay, we got it. Could be within six points here. That's been, li uh, that's been lined up in case there is a miss, but he ends up getting that one. Good job. 30-36. 30, 36, 36 cats are down by six. Pass inside, or outside, I should say. Drives inside, and again, keep up on the outside. That's, what they, that's a good thing to do. They're going to let them try all the threes they want. Drives inside to get it, and he passes oh. out, and and they are calling it a bare ball. Yeah, we talk, touched it there right at the last second, but that's great defense. That's what we need for the rest of the game. Oh, they might be calling that on, Esmond. Okay. We'll see. That was an offensive drive, actually. Fouls on number 23, Bryce. Third Esten. foul Esten. for him. I bet he gets yanked. Into the game, yeah. number 32, Asa Schnackel. Bears ball out of bounds. Nice. Picked his pocket. Taking it all the way home, and he passes it off to Essman. And they go down for two. Not sure who got that, did you see? That was, oh, no, I did not see. Four-point game now, and it looks like Berkeley's calling some timeout. Yeah, that, that, the coach is not happy with what just transpired down there. I, can, I understand what he's saying. He wanted an offensive on that. I think his guy was. I think his guy was moving. Yeah, I mean, it was an offensive. Uh, yeah. I mean, Desmond was moving pretty heavy down there. Yeah. Too. Yep. I mean, benefited Oxford, but you can also see the other side. Yeah, exactly. I understand why he's. I don't agree with the other coach, but I see what he's trying to say. He's having a discussion with the ref right now. His own uh, coaches were holding him back here for a little bit, but. Discussion over. Refs always win that discussion. Yep. <laughs> he was stating he was uh, stating his case. That's right. That's fair. But other than the first uh, quarter or period, this is the closest the Cats have been. Yep. Absolutely. They're finally lit a fire, and they're really going at it now. Another 3:47 here, and another eight. Roughly less than 12 minutes. A boot flap. 36 to 32. You're dialed up to Oxford Community Television. Oxford basketball. Back to it. Bears got the ball and it uh, almost gets steal, uh, stolen. Bears ball out that was on. number three, Alec Brown, almost with that. As a pass goes out to there, in for two, and no good. However, they rebound, it's still no good. They rebound their own. Finally, does it go down? Oh. 
<laughs> that is going to be his third, I believe. It might be his fourth. Is it his That is his fourth. fourth. Yeah. Fourth down. Mitchell Viviano on the fourth foul. Yeah, that's that's our other tall, our other tall guy having to have a seat with four fouls. He put Usman back in, who has three fouls. Oh, oh, oh. Fouls on number thirteen. John Oshuda was doing some uh, aer aer aerobics out there. <laughs> he was kind of flying through the air for a minute. Defense has got to keep it up. Keeping it on the outside, they're driving inside, Ooh. they grab two. That was a little too easy 38 there. 38 to 32, six point deficit here. The Cats are down by six. 3.09 in the third period of action here. Drives oh. inside, boom. What's going on? I, I'm telling you right now, whoever that was, I didn't see who it was on the Bears, but he had Esmond's arm pinned for a good two, three seconds there, and none of the refs saw it. Becky caught, I think they might have caught something here. Yeah. It was a hold, eh? Yeah, oh, I, there was definitely some holding going on down there. Two lines, shooting one line is Bryce Hessman. Bryce Hessman, you said has, and there he gets go. that one, and you say he has a nice foul shot, right? Yeah, I think he has a nice little foul shot going on there. It's actually helped him a lot tonight so far. Yep. Drops it in for another, well, oh, we that one did not. 38-33 down by five, still not undoable. Whole another period of action to go, but the Bears have definitely owned this uh, uh, first part, actually. Again, I think the secret is keeping them on the outside. Got a 1-2-2 two, two zone going there, it looks like. Cats will get it, but can they hold on to it? He's Ooh. down on the ground, he passes, oh, oh no. Did you see that go up to the bottom? Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> that ball actually went from the bottom up. I know, that was crazy. Now how is it if it goes up, it goes back down again? Is that, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the rule is on that one. Uh -huh. Okay, what's the call here? Call is on number 22, Will Winter, who's third. Number 22 is a little animated. The refs having a little talk with him. Luke Winter. That was 32. That's the same guy that hooked on uh, Esman. Mm-hmm. Esman and him are talking right now. It looks like it, yeah. I was, I was just thinking. Yeah, I think he's like, I'm going to hold your arm again. <laughs> Logan Rosansky, the first time at the line, I believe, for him, and he pops one in. Logan Rosensky again. I, I think it's the first time on the line. He's uh, got the first one, knocked it down in the second. Nice. Now yes. we're at 35. Now back to a three-point ball game. Keep two out of there. They got it back. Cats got it. Nice board by number four, Jake Champagne. He's taking it all the way home and uh, doesn't capitalize, but we get the rebound. Rosansky in there for the rebound. Fouls on number one, Logan Rosansky. Rosansky gets called on the foul. Into the game, number five, near run, Kevin. I wouldn't talk to him, right? You're going to get a technical. Yeah. You keep that up. All right. 
if, as long as they do it respectfully, the refs don't. I don't think they usually mind. They have to do it respectfully. Number 11 goes to the line. Rosansky was pleading his case, and it wasn't going to change, but right. maybe a good law school there will help. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, they bounced it out. Student section thinks that they caused that. They probably did. Yeah. They, they did. hollered they were all, that they right were all out. Pretty happy about <laughs> that one. Driving the inside, and they're going to pass it off far corner, and they throw it back inside to Esmond, who's been doing pretty well tonight. Oh, those were no nice. Good. Rosansky driving in, and he knocks it down. Esmond gets the rebound. Up for two, down! Nice, nice work! Down by one point, Becky. This is the closest we've been. I love it, I love it! Oh! From downtown, number two, Sharif. He puts it up to 41. Now we're back to a four point game. One period left to go. We're about 35 ticks away from the end of this one. Shoots it from downtown, he doesn't get it. However, we're rolling down the road with the uh, Bears, See, they're up for two, and they do. Now we're at 43 to 37, five point, eight, six point game. Yeah, they've got to slow down number two. He's really been on fire the last little bit here, and coast to coast, inside, outside, they got to slow him down. 18.5 kicks here on the third period, we jump to the fourth. Final eight minutes of hoop. We've been here all night with you. I am Jim Hughes. I've got Becky Banners here. The Utah broadcast crew. We want to thank everybody here. We got Dan Weiss <laughs> and the crew. We got Joe. Uh, who knows, who's that? Who? Marissa. We got Marissa. Yeah. Hello, Marissa. And down there on the far camera. Jeb is on the far camera, and I spit it on Becky. That's okay. <laughs> hey, Jeb. Got the entire crew here. Yep. Mr. Hollywood on the far camera down there. Joe, he's uh, <laughs> rocking and rolling down there. Again, 18.5. We should dance on this one, no? <laughs> no, because they might actually film us this time. <laughs> oh, Jim and I were having a good time dancing earlier in between. It's like 32 and 23, they're having like dialogue down there. Here we go, back to a live action here at the stadium. 13 ticks left, they gotta get it up before they go to the fourth and final period of ball. Eight seconds, eight, eight seconds left, they gotta shoot here, shoot inside number 14, up for two, and he nice. gets it down. That's Viviano. 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 43 to 39, final period of hoop. Great game tonight. You couldn't ask for a better game. I love it. Earlier tonight, we saw the freshman pick up a victory, 48 to 45. Uh, junior varsity did uh, come in with a loss. What was the score there again, Becky? The score was 41-36. 41-36. The Cats are uh, down a few on this one. Oh, we're getting serenaded now. <laughs> By a band that you and I probably used to watch, yeah, right? Right? A little bit of Journey Journey. <laughs> That's cool. It's cool to be in the gym tonight. You know what? Hey, you know what? I got to tell you a story about Journey. I got paid to go to that concert one time. Okay? No way. My mom, my sister, and her friends wanted to go. My mom paid me money to go see the show. Plus, I had to get them back home safely. So there. that, uh, yeah, I saw Journey uh, in the '80s. That's awesome. That's the best to get paid to actually go do something you want to do, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's great to be here in the gym on the Stand Up for Oxford night. Again, thanks to Mr. Brian Gordon from Royal Oak High School for put, putting together that effort, selling all those shirts, and, and unifying us all across the state of Michigan. Thanks again to the Bears tonight, supporting Oxford strong. We hope we can walk out with a victory. We got eight minutes to watch it happen or not happen. 43 to 39. And this is it. Cats can either do it or not. We'll see what happens here. Becky Bannis, Jimmy is along with you on Oxford Community Television.
Drive inside for a shot, no good. Passes it off to number 10 for three. Ooh. No good, and they... Smart play by the Bears, they almost tried to grab it and they realized they didn't have to. Yep. Yep, just blocked the way so we couldn't get to it. Seven thirty-seven here. Drives There's inside, and that's the one you were talking about. Yep, absolutely. He's a dangerous one when he gets in there. Yeah, he's quick. He is just that little little juke move that he makes, and he just goes at it. And oh. number 10 walks into it, too. Yeah, that was a good take. <laughs> Come on. Down yeah. for three. We're there we back go. 42 three point game again. The fans are getting their money's worth tonight. Now, Maurice has three fouls, right? And so does uh, and so does Espen, if I recall. Yes. So they got to be a little careful in the air. Oh, no. Oh, man. Good effort. No oh. good on that. I think that might be his final. He's out. Yeah, if that was on he Viviano. Had four. Yeah, Viviano yep. had four. He's five. Now he's out. Yep, that's five for him. It's a good game. It's a good game. Gave it all. Gave it all. I know that's frustrating, but you did a good job, Mr. Viviano. They yelled it out again. Wow. <laughs> that student section is powerful tonight. Yep. Six man. I think we might have a lot of Berkeley people down here, okay? Could be. Could be. Or maybe just adults. <laughs> right. So you got one out of, out of the two at that. Four-point game here, and the Bears are on top of it right now. You got about six uh, minutes and 26 seconds. Pass inside to Esman. He's a secret weapon. And not that time, though. Oh, that's going to be a foul. Drops him to the paint. That should send Logan Rosansky to the line. Yes. Foul is on number five. It's going to be a double bonus. And that's his fourth foul. To line shooting two, Logan Rosansky. Rosansky shooting two for us. Plink. Nice. Nothing but net. And they need it. Three-point game again. Cats keep getting within three, and then the Bears steal it away. Not good on the second attempt, but uh, we're still a three-point game here. 6-0-1. And you say uh, number two is number no, number two yeah. is in the inside yeah. where we don't need him to be. Rebounded by uh, number, number two. two. Yep. And he's the one. That is Jacob Sharif. Nice defense. Nice defense. Oh, timeout. Timeout. Perfectly. Number three for uh, Berkeley, a little upset that they had coach called timeout. <laughs> Zach Veclati or something. He's like, he thought he had a run going there, and coach is like, man, yeah, probably yeah, not. I don't think so. <laughs> Didn't look like a pretty good put spot to be in to me, but, uh, you know, coach called his timeout. He didn't sell something he didn't like. He's going to let his guys know. Dial us up every night you can. We have Oxford News this week. Oxford News this week. Oh, brand new news from your local community. I want to thank our station manager, Terry Stiles. Uh, new, uh, she's new at the helm, but she's been part of the TV station for 20 plus years. That's awesome. Terry is a gem. I love Terry. 
student section, they're excited. 5.37, we're at 46.43. Cats are gonna see what they can do. Number two, our sec the secret weapon, Jacob Sharif, has been a nemesis to the Wildcats all night. Yep, they gotta keep their eye on him because he's he's so quiet. He's just sneak around. You Long see, shot for number five. He doesn't yep. get an air ball too. Look who's there, there to is. get it. Yep. He's right there to get it. Sharif. Sharif drives in. He's uh, gets stopped up a little bit here. Defense being played. He throws down and he passes it off to Oxford. Yep. Oxford has a chance here. Pass off to do number one. This is uh, no good. Rosensky over to three and we're double. Rosetsky for three. Off. No so good. 46-43, 4.53. Long shot and good that it didn't go in. Yes. Rosetsky on the rebound. Chance to do it all over again. Esman for three. Ooh. And he doesn't sink that one. We get the rebound, though, up for two. Now, yeah! 45-46, he'll get a chance to even it up I on love the it. line. Crowd's going wild. Number four will get a chance to even it up. Jake Champagne, his chance. Jake Champagne will get a chance to tie the game up right here and maybe if not lead the game and he does not capitalize we get the rebound though off to number three inside for two no good rebounded by the Bears Rosensky trying to plead a foul on that one, but he didn't get it. 4-11 to go, we're down by one. <laughs> what do they say? Get some glasses. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, get a little rough crowd are they, are, they, are they talking about us or what? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, here we go, first down for... Oh, Air that was ball. a late call on that foul. Rosansky, that's got to be three on him. Falls on number one, Logan Rosansky. That's his fourth. Fourth. Fourth, fourth they're going to, he's got no choice, but well, no, they're going to replace one, him now. Two, two, two. Lucas Botino will come in, Botino will come in. And they'll wait till the substitution after the shot. 46 to 45, 351. Crowd making some noise here. Well, they've helped us out earlier. Not that not, time. Not that time. Down. Number 10, Rufus Botain. Botain just checked in and they pulled uh, Rosansky out with four. Hard fought game tonight. Both yep. games of JV and the varsity. 47 to 45. He does get it, 48 to 45, a three-point game now. 348, you gotta play it out here. Drive inside for two, no good. Rebounded by Esman, he goes up for two. There we go. He gets the foul and he does pretty good at the line. Yeah. Esman number 32, Asa Schnappel. 32 and 23 have been friends tonight. Yeah, seems like. <laughs> seems like. He's like, I don't know what I did. I mean, every time I touch the other guy, we get a foul. Over here. Yeah. Come I on, don't know. Forget, I don't know. forget about it. <laughs> Down. Good job. Great form on Esman. In the game number 24, Hunter Robinson. Esman's dad's here filming the night. He said some colleges are talking to him. As they should. His height alone. Yeah. Usually a college. And he's talk. got good. He's got good control as yeah. well. He does. Down for, look at that, double shot there. Gorgeous. Back towards one. 336. Yeah, he's got a complete game. He's good defensively, he's good offensively, inside, outside. He's got, he's an all around good baller. Fourth pass by Ian Smith, which we've tried to find out if there was a relation, we still don't know. 
Essman on the top of the key here. All they need is they're down by one. 308. And look who's at the top. Yep. Don't foul. Essman cannot foul here. Long downtown shot and they grab it. That was for two. 50 to 47. Stolen. Oh, no. 52 to 47. That's just how quickly a game can turn around. Couldn't ask for a better game tonight on both sides. Exactly. It's every, both sides are playing tough, playing good, they're scrapping. A little bit of talking going on, but that's okay, that's part of the game. I'm not sure who that is there. They're putting a poster up down there. It looked like a poster. Uh, oh, is that, um, is that the guy from the office? Oh, right, okay. Dwight or whatever, but I can't tell. Yeah. Is it? I can't tell. I can't either. <laughs> My eyesight is dim tonight. 236 here. They're going to have to work it out here. They got five point deficit here. A lot of foul problems going on with the Oxford side as well as the Bears. Yeah, exactly. One more foul on our side, and that'll put the Bears in double bonus. So. This could be one of those games where we're at the free throw line a bunch in the last uh, Jake, minutes. Jake Sharif has been their headache all night long. Yeah. He's out there still. Well, here you go, Becky, 236. Fourth pass inside and but, yeah, I was gonna say that's a kickball. Oxford will get it, right? Yep. But Oxford doesn't know who's gonna take it out. I mean uh, yeah. <laughs> two twenty nine. Underneath their own hoop. Uh, long shot out. He gets it, throws it back over to number four. Inside drive, tries to get something going for three, and no good. Rebounded by the Ooh. Bears. Got to have some defense here. Sharif has got it. Uh-oh. Got an offensive foul on number, number 10. ten. That was a break for Oxford there. Definitely was. Ben Maurice on the foul, which I'm not quite sure what happened, but he was pleading his case still. We got about two minutes left in this one. Up and inside, pass out to number 10 for two. Inside, goes for two, and no good. Uh-oh. Falls on number 23. Bryce Essman, it's his third. Essman's got three. Mm. Two shots. Pull up two lines, shooting two. He rolls. That number 34 looks like a linebacker out there. I know. I was thinking that earlier. I'm like, that's a football player out there. He bounces it. Oh, another offensive foul. And that will be his fourth. That's five for number five. He's out. He's done. He is done. He's a very aggressive player, actually. That's that's another break. That's a good break for Oxford. Now we uh, 
We still have Esman out there who's only got three fouls. Buck 48 right now and they're down by five. They're gonna have to work hard and fast here. Yep, agree, gotta move. Buck 32, drives inside for two. There we go. We get called on the foul while you get to shoot it out. Ian Smith That's number coming. 12, yep. Ian Smith Follows there. Number 12. And again, we don't know. Ian Smith, his second to line shooting two, Alec Brown. Coach has got a, I don't know what he's doing down here, but he's, I guess, giving him some advice. Yeah, just calming him down, I, don't I think. I think number two needs any advice. <laughs> oh. The end of the game for the Wildcats, number two, Ben Cruz. Really shooting ourselves in the foot, missing these free throws tonight. End of the game for the Bears, number 24, Hunter Robinson. Coach puts in Rosansky again with four. There we go. We get that one, 48, <laughs> down by four. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Could have shot that one up if you were a bear, but. Yeah, coach might have told them not to, but they might be trying to play keep boy at this point. Oh, yep. Falls on number two, Ben Cruz, his first. And that's gonna put second. him on the line with two shots. Fifty three to forty eight. You got a five point game here in less than a minute to go. This could be the sinker on it right here. It could be. We had two great breaks in a row, we just did not capitalize on them. Yeah. Sharif does it, puts a period at the end of the sentence. Unless something else happens, you got 59 kicks and you need six. And that is not three. Oh, nice job. Out for three again. Mm. Still nothing. Rebounded by the Bears. All they got to do is hold on to it. You got to foul them. Yep. Going to have to start fouling now. Got to catch them first. There we go. Follows on number three, Alec Brown, his third. His second. His second. Sharif is just knocking it down here. Yeah. 55 to 48. And if you're gonna pick a uh, most valuable player for the Bears, then it would have to be that young man yeah. right there. I would agree with that. Second went down as well. 56-48. Oh. And it still doesn't fall. Halfway down and right back out. And you see who's got the ball. Exactly. Yeah, that's how they're going to roll. Falls at number four, Jake Champagne, his fourth. There's another. There's another. Nine point game right now, less than 27 seconds. And uh, well, there you go. There it is. They don't even really have to play defense. I mean, they will, but I mean. Right. Yeah, rebound bears. I believe that's one. gonna do it. Okay, that was not called for. I think the coach is upset that they gave up. I mean, obviously, 
you know, we, the score says it all. Final score, 59, the Wildcats 48. Uh, freshmen are the ones who capitalized tonight, 40. Yeah. Five to 48 earlier, the uh, yep. freshman. Uh, Becky, we got to stand up. We're doing a close, I guess. <laughs> They're putting us to work for real now. Uh, for once again, we appreciate you stopping by here at Oxford Community Television. Great game here. Once again, it was an Oxford night statewide, and that was the important thing. Bears came to town to take it on. The freshman came out across to the victory earlier tonight, 48 to 45. Your junior varsity ended up uh, taking a tank on that one, and then the Wildcats uh, varsity team. However, a good night here in the stadium. It's well represented by students, parents, and everybody alike. Anything you want to add, Becky? No, it just was a great night of basketball and I was really happy to be here. We'll be back again for the entire broadcast team here at Oxford Community Television. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching Oxford Basketball. Good night, everyone. <laughs>